hello and welcome to this new video in the excel playlist in this video we will learn about two functions workday and workday.intl let's get started in the last video we have seen network days and network days.intl so partially the explanation or the logic which we saw over there is going to be also be used over here but firstly let us understand how workday is different from network day network day or network days.intl is used to calculate the net days and difference between two dates but here workday instead is used to add the number of days so for example if you have any date let us say today's date and if I want to add X number of days into it I simply say is equal to this date plus the number of days or even subtract however let's say if I ask you to add 10 working days into this into 28th of November I want to know what will be the date after 10 working days now when I mean by this by default I'm considering Saturday and Sunday to be weekend which means off so let us see how this can be done obviously by doing this way you will add only calendar days and not work days so we have to skip Saturdays and Sundays so the best thing is to leave it to Excel and in that a function called as workday so three arguments start date days and holidays so start date is nothing but your original date wherein you can write your date directly by using date function but we are passing it so this is the biggest difference between workday and network day here you don't have a end date instead you have the number of days to be added so for example today being Monday and I want to know after eight working days what will be the end date so I just simply say eight I'll just leave the holidays because that is optional and enter so we get a serial number let us format this so after eight working days from today the date will be 8th of December so let's see this practically so here we are so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and Saturday and Sunday I am excluding so very simple this is nothing but work day in case you have any holidays in between the logic applies the same what we have seen with network days and network days dot intl so if the holiday falls on a saturday or a sunday for work day it won't be considered so for example let us take two things over here so the immediate coming weekend will be 3rd of december we can say so let us add one weekend as a holiday and another i can add as 5th of december one is a weekday one is a weekend so now if I say workday this is the start date I want to add 8 days and these are my holidays holidays is optional whatever your holidays are just write them in a range just like what we did in the last example so now only one day is getting pushed further the reason is because third being a weekend so that will not be considered because that is already being deducted but the fifth it's a working day in actual if you see fifth is a Monday which doesn't overlap with Saturday and Sunday by default that's the reason one day will only be considered and the third is not considered so there you are network days gives you the difference between two dates excluding the weekends that you select by default Saturday Sunday workday instead gives you the number of days what the date will come after adding them can we also subtract let us see so if I say workday this comma and I say minus four yes so it goes beyond behind rather so let's see this if this is correct or not so today is the 28 27 26 was holiday so 1 2 3 and 4 which is right so that's an example to derive the date what the date was for working days earlier now the only difference between this and workday.intl is the same what was between network days and network days dot intl here you get an extra parameter for weekend so which I say start days is this day is it and if my weekend is not Saturday Sunday I will use workday dot intl again this option this formula was introduced in the version 2010 so now let's say if I select Thursday Friday and hit enter this would be the date the rest explanation remains same what we have seen in the last video for network days dot intl so I'm not just going much into it so how this is useful is <clears throat> let's say if someone is allocating a task to you and it is asking uh, and is saying that okay give me this task you should complete this task in five working days so 
at times you know uh, we are not so uh, much cautiously thinking about okay five days which means okay if today is the 5th of december then you're expecting it to be completed by 10th of december but then that person is not realizing okay there are weekends also in between so quickly you can just use excel and see if there are any holidays and then this is how you could calculate but on a much bigger scale this can be also be used in different different ways so that's it about these two functions thanks for watching and stay tuned